Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Sovel, one of my favorite games that I've recently played. It is so much fun and I can't recommend it enough. Today, we're going to be diving in with a brand new playthrough. And if you guys want to see more Sovel on the channel, then be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. This is a very niche game, so I really do appreciate all the support it does get because I'm having a blast playing all the different factions. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see more, go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. And today, we're going to be going and playing as the abyssal legion this is basically chaos we're going to be rocking with heavy infantry elite cavalry and just demolishing everybody in our path now i was wondering whether or not we go with the sorceress or the champion and i haven't really done ma much magic I've, I've generally really always focused in on just pumping up as much uh, heavy attackers as i can so i think a mage would actually be pretty good i'm going to kick things off i think we have some better cavalry but we're going to pick up the abyssal hounds would be pretty good i think uh, so yeah, let's grab them and then I think of course all oh, the devil spawn looks incredible I really want some abyssal warriors as well, but I mean it's a goddamn devil spawn Why would we not want that and again? I have absolutely no idea how to play chaos in this run So we'll obviously have to see how effective it is Okay, looking at the path, it's quite a small path uh, surprisingly only kind of two break uh, points I think we'll go with the free combat to the shop yeah, we'll go down the combat heavy side just to try and get as much experience on our army as possible, especially on these lower tiers. Uh, I think it will be fairly decent. I also actually have no idea what the magic we get set off. Oh, they're, they're groups of five as well. Ooh, interesting. They have fangs, which gives them plus one power. So the power four, okay, not bad. I and mean, then he comes in a unit of Northern Barbarian and the Devil Spawn. Oh my God, they start off with power five? Because of great weapons. They reroll Mr. Tact in the first roll, and they also don't suffer any penalty for fearless. Wow, that's incredible. One downside, though, of course, to this roster is gonna be that we don't really have much in the way of of like missiles. That's gonna be our biggest problem, right? Um, luckily they're gonna come flying in. How much movement do these guys get? 16. Can we like get around the side at all? And that's gonna be in our range. Uh, okay, let's maybe take another approach. I imagine, yeah, we also have pretty good charge range. We could probably turn and like hit them in the flank, I think, and then we'll hit the yeah, We'll try and surround these boar riders. We also want to make sure as well we get some shadow bolts off so we will fire these right away. Three auto hits on the orc warriors. They don't exactly have the greatest saves. They do make two of them though. That's nothing to be, uh, yeah, to, to be too sad about, I think. We'll also now set up our charges. So let's do that. So I think first things first, oh, but they can't. You guys can charge that, which then should allow these guys to then charge this. Why not? They should be in the flank. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm going to lose so many of these riders then. And now you guys can't charge. That's really frustrating, actually. Um, again, I thought they would have been in the flank, but I guess they just weren't tilted enough. That's a real shame. Okay, well, either way, we'll set up our position here just to outflank next turn so that if we do lose combat, which chances are we actually probably might. I, I think these hounds are going to be the biggest problem. Can I get around the back and just rotate? That should be in the back, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, on to combat. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie. The devil spawn should be fine, right? This is the combat I'm a little bit scared of because we're saving on what, five, so we lose three. That's one of the downsides of these, these hounds, I guess, is that they do only, you know, they only have one wound to pop, so they really are not a good frontal force, uh, which, again, it's completely my bad. This combat, however, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, the fact that these guys do that, they do only have one wound, but two attacks is just insane. Uh, and they are, they're defense free again. Yeah, okay. So we definitely need to try and buy ourselves some Abyssal Warriors then, for sure. Yeah, we really, really need to buy ourselves some Abyssal Warriors because we don't really have a front line. A lot of these units, I'm, I'm kind of guessing, I'm vibing with. How is that only in the side? Oh my god. Okay, uh, we don't want to charge any of that, so we'll just leave it. And I guess we will let them charge there. Okay, under combat with the Boar Riders. Yeah, not looking good. I mean, luckily, they only get, what, one attack back? And we've got four hits, and we're in the flank, so they might route. That's what we're hoping for. And we save that good. They should route, then they got, like, Discipline 2. Yeah, boom, nice, cool. So we won that. We did take some casualties, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't really my cleanest battle of them all. But we'll, we'll still take it. Um, and again, some of our riders should also heal a little bit, which is nice, yeah. We get some uh, health spawn back as well. And we'll take, of course, all the money for now and on to the next battle. Okay, so it's just archers and infantry. Okay, this one shouldn't be too difficult to uh, to get stuck into. We will make our way up as much as we can. Can we get any of this on, though? So we'll just focus down the infantry, then three auto hits on them. And then we'll obviously just collide our cavalry in on their archers. That's going to be what the biggest problem is. Ten archers firing in like that. Luckily, they're hitting on fives and we're, we're saving on threes because of the shield. So we shouldn't hopefully lose too much. And that's ideally what I wanted to have set up. Now, we could charge them right away, uh, which I might do, honestly, there. 
Uh, and then they're going to be able to charge me, right? But I'm kind of like okay with that. And then, yeah, maybe you guys can get on the side. I mean, you guys obviously will get stuck in that forest, but kind of have to to get through it. Okay, so just both charges off. I wanted to pin down the archers, even though I think I'll lose that combat. It is probably fine. And then we'll, we'll just set these guys up so they can go help out next turn. And if uh, my warriors don't win, we'll be set up here to then finish off the Imperial Swords. But I'm feeling pretty confident. I am, I will say this, I am playing pretty badly right now. I'm not going to lie. I, I never should have let them charge me. We have the range of our magic. We would have pinned down the cavalry and we end up losing that combat as well. Luckily, because of our hero, we get a really good boost and we'll be able to finish off next turn. But that's not really the point. Here again, yeah, we're not expecting to really win it. If we could just hold off. Yeah, we do a combat, but we lost the entire unit. Uh, can we? And we can't charge him this turn either, which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll obviously charge there. Uh, and then I guess I might hide these Abyssal Hounds in the forest to kick us off, right? Just to give them, obviously, that minus one to hit. And then they should be able to charge out of that next turn. So yeah, I think that's the play. These archers should turn. Oh, they don't. They didn't even shoot me. What? Okay, well, we'll take that. Uh, and again, the demon spawn will be able to easily clear this. So we actually make all of our saves as well, which is nice. Yeah, and then these guys come in. So again, we lost the hounds, but they come back, of course. Not the best combat, but also not the worst combat. And now we get a charge off on these archers in the flank, which should see them done for. Okay, this should be a failure. Seven hits as well. It's really nice hitting. And yeah, we boom. They, they route regardless. Now we even make our save perfect. Nice. Uh, cool. Well, again, not we, we, I haven't played in a, in, a, in a couple days, so I'm definitely a bit rusty. But now we'll get some level ups. Okay, so let's see what we get. So with the hounds, I guess we do just take loot. So discipline's actually not that bad, but I feel like I just need to use them better so they're never in a situation. We will definitely take the veteran skill on this unit of hounds because on four up is good. And then do we take the looter? Do we increase their unit size? I feel like unit size is a bit useless because this unit is just very good anyway. I may mean, hear so much anyway. I feel, I feel like I'm going to take looter on these guys just early. Get that early money coming in and just, yeah, just start basically just try and make as much money as possible as early as possible. This should be a pretty easy combat with for us uh, again because they're so slow. Yeah, you guys are so slow, but then we're fine. We have missiles. We can then just surround and be okay. So it doesn't really matter who we fire off these magic missiles, but we'll basically just bring them in, uh, kill as many as we can, and then just surround them with our wolves and uh, try and break them down that way. So we'll just end... Again, move on to the next round and just bring them in. They're, they're nice and slow. Unfortunately, we don't have any archers just to shoot them because that'd be the perfect way to go about it. Just shoot them to death, but ain't going to happen today. This should be enough to finish this off, I think. So we'll set up like this. These two will charge into this skeleton warrior unit from the flank. You will turn around to, uh, to, yeah, to take this attack. And we will, of course, fire our missiles. As this one should be a little bit easier to deal with. As you guys will see, get three more hits on it. Uh, and then we'll set up like this to then charge that. And that should be GG. Basically, we get all of our charges off and we just kill them in a round. Unfortunately, we won't be able to break them around because they're undead. But that's fine. So the demon spawn come in there. You guys go in there. Uh, one of the nice things as well is we also intercept them. So they don't actually charge me, which is really good. If anything, I could have thrown these abyssal sorcerers in here. But I also don't want to take the 10 hit backs from the skeleton. So I think honestly, this is the best way to do it. So let's just dive straight into battle. And here we go. We're starting to play a bit better now. The extra skill would have uh, been pretty nice here, actually. We kill, yeah, we, we literally kill the unit now perfectly. We take no damage back. And we finish off that, which is good. And then the other unit, we've been back on by way 12, wow. Then the other unit, there's only three of them left, so maybe my sorcerer will get the kills in. I don't think the Chaos actually have any range units as well. I don't think I've ever seen the Chaos with them. They're always monstrous units and like heavy infantry. Oh, nice. Our wizard has leveled up to get an extra spell attack. So now them three auto hits now go to four auto hits, which is not too bad. Oh, a random stat from the demon gift. I've not seen that before. Or do I just give them the extra skill right away? Oh, I don't know. Um, oh my god, two wounds. Ho, oh, oh my god, that unit is insane now. Wow, that's crazy. We, of course, take the rest of the money here. So I'm looking in the shop for a very, very good unit of Abyssal. That's perfect, man. Yeah, we want the Abyssal Warriors. We now have a very, very healthy unit. Uh, we now definitely take Fireball as well. Potion of Power. One per use, two attacks. That's on him, right? So it's not that good. Uh, that's not bad either. Oh my lord as well. We give the, the raiders two-handed weapons as well. 
So we've got two wounds and also double the attacks. That seems pretty crazy. Um, yeah, let's buy that on them then. So yeah, people were telling me last turn as well or last episode that you, you can only use one weapon on a unit. So that's something we will definitely keep in mind. I think we just keep our money. We've got 70 gold in the bank. Okay, next battle, we're fighting the dwarfs. I actually don't know how I feel about the dwarfs. If they're going to absolutely kick my ass or if we're going to be actually okay against them. Obviously, their missile is going to hurt. But now we have some abyssal warriors. I feel a bit more, yeah, a bit more confident with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my lineup probably with the demon spawn at the back. Uh, let's do that because they should put. Okay, they don't spawn a unit over there. Interesting. Okay, so I guess uh, we just move upright. We have our sorcerer as well, so we want to be careful not to run into their explosives. So we'll set up like this. Oh, we also have a fireball as well. Uh, let's just throw the fireball. Why not? Oh, that was a good roll. Plus one. Ah, that's not bad. That's not a bad attack. Mages are pretty decent. Okay, I've kind of messed myself up here though, as we don't really have any way to get these demon kin in. They'll fire their shots off there, which is great because we'll be able to lock them down now pretty much permanently. Wow, these guys save on twos. If we can get this Abyssal Warrior unit to be saving on, like, uh, get to reroll saves, and that would just be amazing. It's because they're defense five, yeah. Okay, so let's just move these guys up now. I don't think we'll be in... Oh, we are in range with a big group as well. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, the Demon Kin... Uh, there's not really much we can do here, so we'll just bring them up as reinforcements. Hey, charges. Oh, we could charge these guys. I'm going to do that, actually. Because um, that pins them down, and that means we can focus elsewhere. Uh, and if they beat back this unit of hounds, which they probably will, we can then deal with them that way. Yeah, I like that. We'll get their bombs off there, which is six bombs. Oh, my God, that's bad. If they roll, I mean, to be fair, I rolled high as well, so can't really complain. Cool. Do we just get another... So that's power four. That's power five, right? Yeah, so let's fire off another fireball there. Bunch more hits, killing three of them, which is good. Uh, and then we're just ready to, uh, to ready to charge them next turn. Okay, on to combat now. This would be a really nice combat to win, actually. Uh, we managed to kill two of them, even though we missed all of our attacks. We won by one, but they're dwarves. They're not going to break. That's fine. That should be fine. They now turn. Um, and again, we're going to lose this unit of hounds. Uh, two kills as well is not bad. Uh, we did, unfortunately, lose that one, but we were expecting that. Okay. So the question is, it'd be nice. I mean, there's no way we'd be able to charge into that now. Um, oh, you can. Wow, they can. Nice. Perfect. Okay, good. Then we will counter charge that. To be fair, these guys have two wounds and two attacks now. So I'm loving the chaos in the next time the demon spawn come in here. Yeah, that is really powerful. Uh, so powerful. Obviously, it could have been any a stat, but even still, you know, now we're getting, what, 10 attacks in? We're getting 20 attacks? That's really good. And then here again, we're killing some. They're going to hit back the hounds pretty hard. But I think the hounds are always just going to be expendable. There's not really going to be much we can do about that. They're just always going to be taking hits. It's not like they're heavy cavalry. But there you go. Also, that's not exactly the, the setup we're going, I guess, for this. So, yeah, taking a lot of damage there. 13 attacks now. Is that it? I mean, I guess it wasn't bad. We actually lost that combat as well. How do we only do 13 attacks? And maybe why are we fighting in two ranks is what I'm a little bit curious in. We should be, right? Uh, no other charges, which is fine. So we'll set ourselves up here. They'll be able to finish that off. They're not getting some shots off there. Cool. So you guys turn around. Try and get out of there. Uh, there's no way you're going to get around this turn, but that's fine. And then you guys just get up here ready for next turn if they're still alive. And let's move into combat. Uh, it should be a pretty easy battle. I can't imagine we're going to be able to put up much of a fight. We do lose another warrior, which is a shame. The crate, oh man, I can't believe that we got two wins on them now. That is just so juicy, man. Uh, that works them out. We're going to re re reroute this turn anyway, which is perfect after killing that, so we don't have to fight the crossbows. Oh, we do? Oh, they're still sticking around? Okay. Well, good luck to them, I guess. Okay, back into the combat now. Some decent attacks there. Like, imagine if these guys got another attack, uh, got up to three attacks per. That would be awesome. Cool. So, if we get... I think I'm just always going to be teching the Chaos Gift and just rolling the dice, seeing if we get lucky. But still, a pretty good clean run through, I would say. Yeah. Some decent heals on the Axemen, actually. The Wolves also. Do Wolves not heal? The Wolves should automatically heal, so... I think I'm going to be a bit cocky. Oh, wait, they have, we have to heal them. Okay, that's fair enough. So, I don't think we're strong enough for the Elite, unfortunately. So, we'll go Random Encounter, Battle, and go off. Uh, you've done... Oh, this is about money, right? Um, I think if you just, like, give one... Like, something like that. It's kind of very similar. I and mean, then you get a natural power. I think that's on my hero, unfortunately. We have a camp coming up as well. So, I think we might hit the camp just to heal up properly. So, yeah, the Orc Raider group is just two units of boar riders. Which is pretty difficult for us to deal with, honestly. Um, so, let's uh, let's just start moving up. These guys, I wouldn't mind getting charged by the Orcs, realistically. 
Uh, this unit we can actually counter charge as well, I think. So we're going to get up here and probably just charge these guys. We'll also be able to get a nice little fireball off on them as well. That might be able to do some decent damage at them. Yeah, we kill one. That's good. That's one that's attack. And we'll actually be able to counter charge them uh, pretty nicely. That orc unit. Oh, that orc unit is a little bit scary. But yeah, now we should be able to get in their flank if I just organize it properly this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these abyssal hounds up here as well to stop these uh, these abyssal warriors from being charged. So again, we're sacrificing these these units, but hopefully doing it effectively. So yeah, now they can do that. We could throw the demon spawn in, which I think I'm going to do. So that way we can still magic down the orc warrior unit. And then yeah, you guys counter charge that and everything else is fine. And then again, we know that this battle is not going to go in our favor. This battle with these boar riders will be able to fire some fireballs and magic into the back of these guys. Even maybe we'll surround these guys. So yeah, let's do that, because we should be able to charge them in the flank, and then we just force them to rout. It's going to be really good, right? Another fireball going off. Fortunately, only kill one. I feel pretty confident. These are just orc warriors, so these aren't even orc brutes, which are going to be a unit that does break through my, my chaos warriors. And we have a camp coming up as well, so I'm a little bit more inclined to uh, be a bit more sacrificial with my units. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we, we, I always knew we were going to lose this combat. I didn't expect it to be that badly or that brutal. And then over here... Yeah, we go in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love the demon kid. They're going to take a lot of damage. Oh my god, take a lot of damage. We need these guys to get an extra wound as well. We're, we're kind of very glass cannony right now, which is a little bit scary, honestly. Oh, they took around as well. Nice. Shout out to the Abyssal Hounds. Oh my god, they're not in range. Oh no, that is bad, actually. Because now they get a bonus for charging, and they're actually going to be able to wound my warriors on a decent amount of damage. Okay, I mean, obviously we know that this one's going to go poorly for me. But if they can get an extra... Uh, they wound one, so one's on one wound, that's fine. This combat, we need to go very well. So we're saving on three. Oh, we lost so many. We lost too many there. Uh, we also won the combat by four there, so they just break perfect. Beautiful stuff. But yeah, we, we are taking casualties. But again, as long as we win the combat, we are going to a camp afterwards. So we can counter charge that. Um, and then you guys can charge that. And you guys can charge that as well. And that should be GG. Okay, let's move in now. So we'll finish this up. They do save both of them attacks. See if this warrior is going. Imagine if they beat me here. Imagine if they beat me here. Uh, we do take some attacks back, but that's fine. We clear up there. Okay, big level ups. Big level ups. So the Abyssal Warriors, come on, give me... Yes, I mean, skill... Oh, no, that's not really good. Skill 5 is whatever on them. I was expecting something huge. Uh, we'll go up to skill 4 on these guys, though. That's not a bad little one to have. Uh, random stat. Uh, discipline 7. We got a bad one, but hey, I love the random stat. Oh, skill 5, again, is whatever. We could have just taken that. Uh, I love to, you know, I love to gamble. Uh, we will just go ahead and take all the money here. We'll go to the store quickly. The store will go to the camp, replenish basically up to full. Take the experience there and level him up. Spell power or spell attacks. I think I just love attacks. Like, they just roll badly and when we win. You guys take the experience, which leveled you guys up as well. Um, I guess we'll take looter on them. Yeah, we'll take looter on them just for more money. The Abyssal Warriors can heal. You guys can go up. Obviously, you guys go up and we'll heal the Hellspawn as well. Okay, shop. Let's see what the shop has to offer. So, I would love the Abyssal Knights, but we can't afford them. We can't afford the Abyssal Knights. We could get a unit, another Sorcerer, which could be a really fun way of playing. Or we just save our money and try and get Abyssal Knights next time. We could also get some more Demon Spawn as well if we wanted to. I feel like we're powerful enough, so I might just honestly not worry about anything here. The Abyssal Warriors, I think we might give them great weapons. And, and then the Hellspawn, that could be really good, the extra attacks with rerolls. But yeah, I think the rest of that will just save our money. Let's let's go to the... We've only got two more battles left, so let's do that. This shouldn't be too difficult of a battle, because it's just, what, all Imperial Archers and a couple units of Miners, which we should be able to shut down pretty quickly. So we'll let them get their shots off. They're hitting on fives? We, we did lose one again, yeah. These Abyssal Hounds only having one wound is pretty brutal. Um... I want to be careful because I don't want to get too close to them. So we will just go into a forest here. Okay, and they're going to get their mines off as well. Oh, that's so bad. Luckily, the forest saves us. They actually miss everything. That's actually really big. Um, and then we'll just come around here uh, and we'll charge these miners. And we will hopefully just kill them. I also have a fireball as well, which we'll stick down. Poorly rolled, but we still killed two of them, which is nice. They, oh, they still give them off as well. Okay, only two. They're all good there. We make both our saves on three ups, which is good. Uh, and then, yeah, so then you guys just sprint to deal with them archers. You guys make your way up and hopefully try and get around. I, again, I don't think the flank is there quite yet, but uh, we can definitely get these hounds to the flank. Oh, again, they're just not in the flank. Oh, I really am messing up these charges. They're, I know there's a way to do that. Is there a way to have like this when you actually charge someone? You can normally see the angles. Maybe there is a button for that. 
Okay, here's what it is. Uh, let's just dive in again. It shouldn't be that bad of a combat, and we at least get in their flank the next turn. It's just going to be a shame to lose some of these wolves when we, of course, have a pretty big battle coming up with the final boss, but shouldn't be too bad. So we don't have any magic there. We will activate our curse standard here just to allow the demon spawn to finish these guys off. And we'll also move up the Abyssal Knight so they can get a charge in there in the flank. So let's uh, let's dive in here. Um, and we lose all of them. The miner's hitting hard. We get some hits back. We do lose the combat. We'll be able to charge in and kill them next turn, but it's fine, I think. Yeah, of 19 attacks with that standard. Wow. Wow. We obliterated them. Okay, I like to see that. Now, if we can force this unit to rout, I could... Maybe force them just to surrender next turn. We lose, we win the combat by one. If they fail this, no, they, they hold, they hold. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We do lose two, though. Okay, we can, we might as well charge these miners in the back because they don't get to attack back. So it's literally just a free charge, and then yeah, everyone else just starts moving towards the archers, and then we move on to the final boss. Okay, so I mean, any kills this unit gets, it is going to be good. They get two down, they lose both, but. The Demonkin, I think, are in range. Okay, not in range, okay. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, this attack should go pretty well in my favor, though. Mainly because we get to attack in their back and they don't get to attack back. But only winning a combat by four against dwarves generally is not that crazy. But that did play off in our favor. And then they're routing this turn anyway. So we basically just want to... Well, yeah, we can't charge them, which is fine. So we basically just want to hide in the forest and hope that they miss their shots. Uh, they do hit these guys who are not in the forest yet, but we do only lose one. We might have to not take the money, I think, after this battle. Uh, I mean, it literally doesn't matter, right? If they're routing this turn, just skip, and we go on to the final battle. Okay, so final battle. We are going to take the money on the people that we can. Do I want to take it? Okay, now we'll do that. We will heal the hounds, because I think these guys need to be heavy HP'd up. Uh, and the devil spawn, I think we also just heal them as well. Uh, and let's go. This is going to be a pretty hard battle, actually, because I believe the Dark Elves have a couple, like, decent uh, units that are great for killing us. So we're going to have to be a bit careful, uh, as we don't really have any anti-large like, our infantry is just good in general. Yeah, them bolt throwers are going to be a pain in the arse. We have nobles. Yeah, this could be a really hard battle for us, actually. Because we have no real way of dealing with a lot of these guys. Uh, we will just close the distance, though. Make sure we're out of charge range, though. So we get another turn of it. And we will fire off. Ideally, I should be killing these masters as well here. Getting rid of the spears is good. Because if we charge with the spears, then it does also count up on a lot of stuff for us. I might go and commit the abyssal warriors over here. That's really good for us. Because now what we're going to do is I'm going to charge these fists forward and get a get a nice little charge on that bolt for even though these these elves could come in here as well they actually make free hits oh no well that's that's that done then that was that ambitious plan thrown out the uh out, out the out of the sight wow then bolt throws are gonna just tear me apart man there's nothing i can do about them literally nothing at least this can pin this down this turn which is fine whoa what the hell is that charge range okay my bad. I did not... I mean, it's actually not that bad. They charged me, but we don't get the power. But now it kind of blocks this unit down a little bit, I guess. And we can maybe get a nice little outflank. Um, I will curse here. I, I'd rather kill this unit early whilst we have the numbers. So we'll do that. Uh, and then, of course, we'll come around here. Yeah, we'll come around here to at least charge this bolt thrower. I think for the most part, we definitely want to focus these guys down. We do kill a bunch of them as well, which is nice. There's five less to worry about. And I think we just kind of kite a little bit. Set up like this. They have to charge me there. <laughs> they just... The moving moving and shooting is just insane, man. The moving and shooting on them both rows is crazy. And I think these, are, these Abyssal Warriors then have to come up and they charge. They haven't been yet, though, have they? Can they get me in the back? I don't think... Oh, they can. I don't think they'll be able to charge through there, you know? Oh, man. I'm playing way too sloppy here. I'm playing way too sloppy. We need to be clean. Again, we know that this... Oh, we actually need Drew. Okay, we take those, we take those. This is a fight that will, of course, go in. Oh, no, this is good, actually. No, don't worry. I planned it. I planned this because we're going to kill this unit now. And then we're going to charge the sword masters before they can charge me. Okay? 100% planned. Then, then these abyssal warriors get in the back here. So we charge there. Of course, they... Yeah, we, I think we have to frontally charge. And then they charge me there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we counter that charge. Okay, I would love my, my I'd love my extra attacks now, but I think it was needed. And at least we get into these these spears in the back. So we've engaged everything now. This unit, this sorcerer should win this battle against the chariot as well. Even though it's wounded, not great. Uh, nice, and we even break it. Wow, I did not think that was going to happen. This is going to be a brutal attack, though, because of course they have their champion here. All the sword masters re-rolling. Yeah, we lose the entire unit. Okay, now it's just down to the hit back. We just make sure we try and kill as many as possible. They're saving on fives as well, so... Uh, we actually end up drawing that combat. 
they ended up winning it but i think it's fine yeah i think it's fine um there pay you managed to kill me there which is brutal this attack i'm hoping uh will win up quickly before we get charged in the flank so they only get one attack in but now we get what 13 in on them and they only failed two, so we're down to three wounds on there. I doubt they'll break because they're elves. Uh, and oh my god, it's actually pretty close. Actually pretty close. Oh, the extra wound from my champion. Now, this is a combat we need to have. Oh my, wow. And they make it as well, so they turn and fight me. That is insane that they managed to win that. But we can at least pin down the bolt throw this turn. I guess there's nothing I can do about that charge. But we can at least pin down it with the, uh, the Abyssal Hounds. And there's literally nothing to do but just... Just click space and hope for this. I mean, this is just going to turn and... We can't turn and shoot. Nice. Okay. We got lucky there then, I think. We need this chariot dead 100%. It makes all of its saves. We make one of our saves. We get the attacks back. We just need two wounds now. Yeah, boom. Cool. So that's dead. And we should be able to then turn and face for last of these. So we're, we're going to win this, obviously. And we have, we have a good team. I just need maybe a little bit more heavy infantry. Or like some heavy knights. Like ideally I just need knights here. Abyssal Hounds I feel like aren't that good. They, they obviously are only just supposed to be a flanking force. But I was kind of hoping that they'd be a little bit better than that. That's a big route as well. That's a really nice route actually. Okay, we, we've got this then. So the first, first round has been cleared. And, and we, we've got some money left over as well. So that's something going into Act 2 that we can really utilize is the extra cash. Right, because we already have like 80 gold stacked up. We can easily buy another unit uh, pretty, pretty easily. And even if this is like another unit of Abyssal Warriors as well, realistically, that's fine. Oh, big saves there. How am I saving on twos against him? Or is that him saving on twos against me? Probably, yeah, probably that way. That's fine. We should win this combat with the amount of attacks we have. No, we won't. We'll lose by one. Imagine if we routed. Imagine. Poor. Oh, I was, uh, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit shaky. I'm hoping that we can just kill this. Uh, not that we will be able to do this turn. And then they just route would be great. Okay, nice. We actually managed to kill their hero in hand-to-hand in -hand combat. My sorcerer actually took down their hero somehow. Wow, I don't really know how. I mean, this unit is just so tanky as well. Because of them two wounds, this unit just does not die. And there you go. Okay, we definitely took a lot of casualties there. But it is a final boss, right? And we have no range. That's also like the big thing is that we have no range to kind of whittle down these bigger units outside of my sorcerer. So maybe getting another sorcerer wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. The Abyssal Hounds do also level up. I might think about maybe if we can getting them the larger unit size. But we have to save a random gift. Okay, boom. That is big. Two wounds on them now is huge. You guys just take the looter, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I'll heal up the guys who have two wounds because they need it. Mm, I think I'll do that, that. You guys kind of need to be healed, but I think we can survive the next battle, and then you guys need to be healed as well. Okay, boom. That is Act 1 done. We have 500 gold in the bank already, and we have plenty of battles to fight before the shop. I think we might avoid this elite vote and go up down this easier route of battle, random, battle, shop, battle, camp. And then we can maybe take this elite before the shop and see... Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the first part of the Chaos playthrough. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It honestly really does help out the channel and lets me know that you guys want to keep on seeing more Sovel. This was definitely a bit more of a brutal run, but I think we're getting it going now. Now that these guys have two wounds, the Northern Axemen have two wounds, uh, the Devil Spawn are doing pretty good power-wise. And yeah, we can just buy another unit or two with all of our money. We'll be in a very good spot. So as I mentioned, drop a like and a comment down below. I'll see you guys in part two.